to Shimmer Girl Talks. A few years ago, I did a video on why are people scared of quiet people. And so I'm going to revisit the topic, only this time I'm going to say why are people bothered or scared of introverted people, particularly if you are a black woman. And I'm sure everybody, regardless of your race or gender, they have their own view or experience as being that introverted person at work or school or wherever. And the thing is, yes, I classify myself as introverted, but I also, but I'm also a very talkative person depending on who I'm around. And but to, but particularly when I'm at work, I've made friends at work, but I've also made enemies. And sometimes people are your enemy and they present themselves as your friend and then you end up being burned. That's one of the plus sides of being an introvert because you observe around you, you pick up people's energies and stuff like that. And it's unfortunate that people like to put each other in a box if you're introverted, especially when I was younger, you know, I was considered stuck up. Who did I think I was? Uh, another thing about when you're quiet and introverted or whatever, people think that you're weak or not as bright. You know, they like to make classifications. I, that's not the word that I wanted to use, but they like to make assumptions about you. And, and the bad thing is a lot of times they will also be passive aggressive with you or passive aggressive, you know, to the point where, you know, you can hear them, you know, maybe making a remark about you within earshot. And then they think that you're, you know, because you're not going to really respond. Or if you do respond, you know, it could be a case of, well, I wasn't talking about you when they clearly were, you know, I, I can't stand passive aggressive stuff. And I also don't like to be placed in a box. And this is, I've always been like this. I can remember as far back as being like maybe 15 years old and I had a teacher. I couldn't stand him. I can't even remember his name now, but he was a Bill Cosby wannabe. This was back when the Cosby show was at its height. And this teacher, he would wear the sweaters and everything. He wanted to be Bill Cosby so bad. And I remember one day I was um, sitting at the table by myself, you know, I was in a classroom and, and I, I can um, vaguely remember now, but I remember he just took it upon himself to have some students come sit at the table with me because he just made an assumption that I was sitting there sad and alone or lonely or whatever when I was perfectly fine. And then I had another teacher do me the same way. And she had this guy, and I can't remember. I could still kind of see him in my face, in my mind or whatever. And, you know, so she must have told him to come sit with me because I was sitting there by myself or whatever. And I ended up embarrassing him because I was like, excuse you, why, why are you sitting next to me, you know? And, yeah, yeah, I was something else when I was younger. But, you know, the thing is, just because somebody is sitting by themselves and they're introverted, it does not mean something is wrong with them. It just means that they want to be left alone. They're in their own world. They're minding their own business. And also like with me, I don't write like I used to, but you know, there were times when I would be thinking about, you know, what I'm going to write down, you know, and I just try to make like a mental note of it. So a lot of us are just deep thinkers and a lot of us just want to be left alone. And here's the thing, like, even though, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, yes, I could be quiet, introverted at work or whatever. There are some people who are comfortable coming up to talk to me and I'm like, hey, yeah, how you doing, blah, 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 you know. And then there are others who are like tentative and they're like scared to come talk to me. And I'm like, I am not an ogre. What is making you scared of me to come talk to me? You know, for the most part, they've never seen me bite anybody's head off. And if I do bite somebody's head off, it's because I was provoked for the most part. And I think a lot of times that be the problem because because you're quiet, people don't know how, you know, like, you know, how you, you know, might be angry and, you know, stuff like that. Even if you've never shown them anger in any way, 
and I think that I, that I shared in my last video, the why are people scared of quiet people? Um, somebody had told my aunt years ago something about still waters run deep or whatever. But again, that is people making assumptions about others. Again, if a person is quiet, okay, when I see somebody at work that's quiet, and we got a few people like that, they're quiet, don't say anything really to anybody, um, they mind their own business, my first thought is not they're scary, I'm scared to go talk to them, you know, and so when people do that to me, it, it irritates me, but I'm, I guess I'm so used to it now, I'm like, you know what, it's their loss. If they want to make an assumption about, you know, me, they clearly see other people coming to talk to me and I got a smile on my face and laughing and making them laugh. So, you know, some people like to project, you know, maybe their feelings onto others. You know, they don't like to be trapped in their own mind or whatever. And that's that must be scary because I don't mind being off to myself. But I don't I also don't mind, you know, being a chatty Kathy with certain people, you know, and at work, everybody is not your friend. I'm trying to tell you people will stab you in the back in a heartbeat. So that is a plus to being a introverted person because you get to observe the world around you and then you can decide if it's safe to step out, safe to let people in, because I'm telling you. You befriend the wrong person and it could cost you your life. It could cost you your reputation, a lot of stuff. So that was my topic for today. I just wanted to revisit that because I did it like five years ago. And it was a wildly popular video that I did. And a lot of people can relate to it, you know. So for you quiet people out there, ain't nothing wrong with you. You got yourself. You are fine. Ignore the haters. Ignore the people that want to make assumptions about you because they are the problem. You hear? And I'll talk to you later. Bye.